Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime at Cameron Park Zoo. My name is Miss Sarah and I'm so glad you're joining me this week. This week for Storytime we're going to be talking about frogs and their life cycle. We'll read the book From Tadpole to Frog and learn all about how tadpoles grow and become frogs. We'll also visit a small pond and if you have some play-doh get it ready because we're going to make some froggy creations. So let's start by singing our welcome song. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, 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 you can come too, too, too. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Let's start by reading this week's book. The story time book for this week is a nonfiction selection called From Tadpole to Frog. This is a scholastic science reader's book and we've been given permission to share it with you. Nonfiction means that the information in this book is based on fact. Fiction tells a story. So nonfiction is a great resource when you want to learn facts. And this week, our book will tell us all about tadpoles from egg all the way through their life cycle to frog. From tadpole to frog. In the spring, you may see frog eggs in the still water of a pond. Each egg is a ball of clear jelly with a small dark center. Hundreds of eggs stick together in a clump called frog spawn. Inside the eggs, tiny tadpoles are growing. At first they look like small dark specks. In a few days, little heads and tails take shape. Soon the tadpoles are big enough to wiggle out of their eggs. After feeding on the jelly of their eggs for a while, the tadpoles wave their tails and swim away. Gills on the outside of a tadpole's body help it breathe underwater. The tadpole's main job is to eat and grow. Many of the tadpoles will be eaten by hungry bugs, fish, or turtles, but a few escape. They will grow to be frogs. Tadpoles do not look much like frogs, the frogs that they'll become. A tadpole has a strong tail for swimming. The tadpole has a hard mouth. It uses its mouth to scrape soft plants from the rocks and pebbles in the pond. After a few weeks, the tadpole has grown two hind legs and the tadpole's gills have moved inside its body. Lungs are beginning to form inside the tadpole's body too. Now and then it swims up. The tadpole puts its head out of the water. It takes, a, it takes little breaths of air. As the tadpole's lungs grow stronger, its gills shrink away. Two front legs begin to grow where its gills once were. By the time it's about two months old, the tadpole's mouth has become wider. The tadpole starts to eat small bugs. For a few more weeks, the tadpole's tail shrinks and shrinks. Now the tadpole's strong legs and its webbed feet help it swim. The tadpole has changed into a small frog. Soon the little frog will leave the pond. The frog spends much of its time out of the water, but it likes to stay wet so it doesn't go far. The little frog catches bugs and worms. It swallows them in its wide mouth. The frog eats and grows. It gets a little bigger every day. After about two or three years, the frog is fully grown. Every sp spring, there will be new frog eggs in the pond.
I hope you enjoyed learning about tadpoles growing from eggs to tadpoles to froglets and then frogs. Would you like to read more about tadpoles and frogs? Here are some suggested titles. These books can be found at the Waco McLennan County Library. You can go online with your library card and place books on hold to be picked up at a local branch. Leapfrog. This book tells about a frog's journey through a rainforest and all of the other animals and dangers that he encounters along the way. A Frog in the Bog. This book is both a rhyming and accounting book. Little Tad Grows Up. Follow Little Tad as he grows up and has some fun and difficult moments in life when he goes through changes. Flashy, fantastic rainforest frogs. This is a nonfiction book with beautiful illustrations that tells about many of the different species of frogs in the rainforest and their unique characteristics. The future for endangered wildlife, frog rescue. In this nonfiction book, learn about not only frogs, but other endangered wildlife and some things that you can do to help. Tadpole to Frog. Did you enjoy reading the Tadpole to Frog book that we read? Well, in this National Geographic Kids book, you can learn about other animals too and what they look like and how they change as they grow up. I hope you enjoy reading more books about tadpoles and frogs. Let's go take a little trip to a small pond where we found some tadpoles swimming around. So here we are beside a small creek and we have discovered several of the first stages of the life cycle of a frog. So first, a frog will lay her eggs in water. And if you look closely, there are a cluster of eggs right there. It caught our eye because they're really shiny. And if we could count them, I think they'd, there would be probably at least a hundred eggs right there. And then nearby is another cluster of eggs right there. So if you look out into the water where it gets a little bit deeper, there's some tiny tadpoles swimming. These have probably just hatched out not that long ago. And then a little bit beyond that are some bigger tadpoles. And these bigger tadpoles are just starting to grow into the early stages of a froglet. They're going to be growing their hind legs and then their front legs very soon. Tadpoles are a lot like fish because they have gills. So they swim around in the water and breathe through gills just like a fish would. But after several weeks, those gills close up and they breathe through lungs so they have to come up to the surface to breathe each time. Once those larger tadpoles grow their back legs and front legs and start breathing with their lungs they will grow quickly and soon leave the water and they will become an adult frog. So a tadpole doesn't look very much like a frog does it? It goes through a really big change and the word for a really big change is metamorphosis. I hope you enjoyed seeing some frogs today, future frogs. Right now they're tadpoles, just enjoying this water and this beautiful sunny day. Now I'm going to show you an activity that you can do at home to create the life cycle of a frog. You will need a paper plate, marker, and Play-Doh. You can use any brand of Play-Doh in any color. First, you'll take the paper plate and marker and draw four sections. Then you'll label those sections. Label one eggs, tadpole, froglet, and frog. Now take one of the containers of Play-Doh and open it up and get ready to create. Use your imagination and create each of those stages of the life cycle of a frog. Did you have fun creating the frog life cycle out of Play-Doh? Here's what my daughter created. 
I really like how she used different colors of Play-Doh to emphasize the eyes. And I also like how the sizes increase just like a frog, just like a tadpole and a frog would grow. Well, once you make your frog stages, find someone and teach them about the life cycle of a frog and how much they change as they grow. Wow, I sure have had fun this week learning about how tadpoles grow into frogs. They are certainly amazing creatures. And I hope you had fun creating your own frog life cycle. If you were able to do that and would like to share a picture of that here in the comments, I'll be sure to leave you a message. So let's end by singing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, give a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.